New car inventories rise above 1.9 million to reach the 2021 levels, and at the end, we have a job for you. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. For several months now, we've been saying the vehicle shortage is squarely behind us, and that new car inventory was on track to exceed 2 million cars by June. Also in the second half of today's show, we are unveiling a master plan to get laws passed in all 50 states similar to the Senate bill that Texas just passed and was discussed in this show, forced financing ban clears the Texas Senate. But more on that at the end. Now here we are with this Automotive News May 13th report, which is a report on where April left off, and we're over 1.9 million vehicles. How's that for some outstanding data tracking and trend projection? Two million vehicles by June is clearly in the bag. Yes, it is. As Automotive News is reporting, new vehicle inventories in the U.S. continue to slow climb and steadily climb back toward normal levels last month, topping 1.9 million for the first time in two years. That is so significant, friends. Let me say that again. It's the first time in two years. I see numbers in the 2.2 to 2.3 million range happening by the end of the summer and a solid return to rebates and incentives from manufacturers. The insane market adjustments dealers have been pulling for far too long should have disappeared by summer's end too. These elevated inventory levels have happened with some interesting dynamics going on. New vehicle inventories did continue their climb last month, despite the fact that a lot of pent-up demand in the past month unleashed a flurry of car sales, causing the fastest sales pace the industry has seen in more than a year. But even that is a further sign that production constraints are easing, if not disappearing completely. This according to data compiled by Cox Automotive and the Automotive News Research and Data Center. Cox Automotive's most recent estimate of the U.S. inventory puts the number right at 1,904,958 vehicles, a 53-day supply. That's up from 1,893,855 vehicles in the previous month, a number that we had reported not long ago and about 71% higher than it was a year earlier. However, it is very close to where the industry was at the same point in 2021 as inventory levels began to rapidly recede and industry-wide day supply eventually fell below 40. Mm -hmm. Cox computes day supply based on the selling rate of the previous 30-day period. As they have been for several months, midsize, compact, subcompact, and high-performance cars were the only segments with less than a 40-day supply of inventory, Cox said, while full-size pickups, electric vehicles, full-size cars, hybrid alternative fuel sources, and Uber luxury vehicles all had more than 80-day supplies. Of the automakers that report monthly sales and inventory, only Volvo saw its day supply increase last month. Subaru and Hyundai Kia, as we expected, stayed flat. The other four automakers saw their day's supply fall. Ford Motor sold enough to shave off 10 days to drop below the two-month level. Okay, friends, now, as I mentioned in the beginning, We have something new to discuss, so we're moving forward with a change of subject. We have about eight to nine months before new legislative sessions start in various states, and we want to get out ahead of lawmakers returning to work with a very important issue. Just yesterday, we published this show, Forced Financing Ban Clears the Texas Senate. Go see it if you missed it. We were so inspired by Texas taking this action, we've decided to solicit your help to get the same thing done in your state too. By banding together, we can stop ruthless dealers who love to pull the stunt of saying, you can only buy from us if you use our financing, or your second option is to pay a lot more money for the vehicle if you want to pay cash or use financing from your own bank. Doesn't that sound familiar? It sure does to us. We hear about it all the time. So today, we're giving you a new email address that you can send us an alert on any dealer in your state that pulls this stunt on you. The email address is easy to remember. It's right here, reportdealers at outlook.com. We will respond by asking you a few clarifying questions, and then we will supply you with an email template and the email contact for your state lawmakers so they get a bill similar to Texas Senate Bill 1464 into their next legislative session. See, what many of you may not know about Kevin is that he's very savvy on how to get things done through the political process in this country. When he was hospitalized in South Dakota and the hospital he was at blocked me from visiting him, he knew we had to take action after getting out to help other families avoid the same struggle. He reached out to the elected representatives, and then we went to the South Dakota House and the Senate to testify on the inhumane attitude of the hospital toward visitors and was partly responsible for getting visitor rights established in the state. That's right. 
When we saw what happened in Texas with SB 1464, the very first thing he said was, This is awesome. We can get this done everywhere. And Kevin added, all we have to do is to get you, our audience, to help us. That said, we're more than happy to blaze the trail and lead the way. Pay attention here because this is what we want you to do. First, when you go car shopping or even just exchange emails with dealers in your area, make sure you take some good notes. You can do it with pen and paper or you can do it by sending a text to your spouse with the notes. I like the text method the best because you don't have to carry anything extra with you. It also gives you some privacy. Just give your spouse or friends a head up beforehand that you'll be doing this so they don't wonder what's going on. Kevin and I use our phones for note taking so much that we're just used to getting random text messages from each other with notes that they may not know what they're about. So Happens here's all the time. Yep. Here's what you do. When you visit a dealership or exchange emails with them, text the name of the dealer and the city and state you're in along with the date and the time of the day you're visiting or communicating. When you encounter someone, write down their name. If they see you texting and get nosy, just say, I'm taking some notes for my records. No big deal. This will give you tons of very credible evidence when things go south. And you know, sadly, there's over a 50% chance that it will. As we shared on a recent show and based on an automotive news survey, 54% of dealers are shysters out there. Odds are you're going to meet a bad apple. If members of management get involved, get their names too. If and when a time comes that you go into finance, get his or her name too. Those are all the basics. If the dealer tells you that the price of the vehicle is X dollars, but only if you finance with them, or shows you an added expense, record that, including the price difference or overcharge. If they say you can't buy at all without using their financing, make a record of that too. Whatever changes with regard to financing, take notes. These will be the notes we want you to send us to the email Kevin mentioned, reportdealers at outlook.com. When you send a dealer report like this, make sure you include your home city and state. We will use this information to look up your district state representatives, state senator, appropriate reporting agencies, and others. Of course, we will welcome you to do that too if you'd like. Sure. We will assist you with sending them an email with your complaint details. When others in your area do the same, soon enough the evidence will compel them to do what Texas just did with Senate Bill 1464 and put a ban on dealers forcing their financing terms on customers. Final note on this, if you live in Texas and you've encountered dealers who gave you the cold shoulder when you showed up or emailed them saying you have cash or your own bank or credit union pre-approval, we need you to immediately email your Texas State House representative and report it, urging them to pass SB 1464. If you do that, would you kindly email us at reportdealers at outlook.com to let us know that you did your part? It will be much appreciated. Legislation this big has got to go through. It must end up on Governor Abbott's desk in Texas. When it lands there, we will help add some public pressure to get it signed into law and put into effect on September 1st. There's a reason we want to be a conduit for this process by knowing firsthand how many complaints came from each state and how many emails go to each state agency. We will know which states to solicit more consumers from to create additional pressure. And we can also help give these bills as they are drafted up the final push they may need to get passed in your state. That's all right. Okay, if you're new here at the Homer Guide channel, as you can see, we are far more than simply an advisor for the car buying public. We are your partners helping to lead a nationwide effort to hold bad acting dealers accountable. Let's do this, America. As you can see, it's vitally important that you don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell to include all future notifications so you don't miss out on our future announcements. Join our fast growing group of subscribers and become a part of our YouTube family. If you're one of our newest subscribers, we welcome you. Also, thanks to our many faithful followers for coming back and to all of our longtime subscribers out there. You guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, signing off with amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. The homework guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business and always will. We thank you in advance for partnering with us to get new laws passed in every state similar to Senate Bill 1464 in Texas. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.